At home, Manly Socialist dream had become a middle-class nightmare. If you don't like it, Manly told them, there are five flights a day to Miami. In the months that followed, thousands took his advice. Planes were packed with Jamaica's middle classes, taking their money with them. But I moved the world for Michael Manley, for the people's man. Yeah. Him see the people, him see the struggle of the people. Go off for the last man, go off, go off, go off for the people, go all the way. Michael had enough grassroots support to win the 1976 election, but the crisis still deepened. Foreign businesses found more friendly places to invest their money. They frightened away every foreign investor that we had, and a lot of local investors at the same time. Because they were threatened, they were told that they were not the sort of people that were not wanted here, uh, that Jamaica was going to be a socialist country, and that uh, the capitalist was no longer welcome. Uh, America was called a wicked imperialist capitalist nation and exploiter, and the whole ambience of the place was very frightening to any kind of investment. Of greater concern, the urban poor were losing patience. Michael Manley had no choice but to bow to US pressure as his socialist dream of a free, equal, independent Jamaica crumbled before his eyes. He went to the World Bank and effectively handed over the running of the country to the IMF. Jamaica's future would now be in the hands of foreigners.